My name is Cheryl and I'm the PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Meet Simple. In this video, I will be analysing a past year examination question on the topic of living and non-living things. I will also include this question to download for free by clicking the link in the description box down below. So let's get started. Question 10. John grouped the following things into two groups. From the table below, you can see that in group A, there is the ball, snake, fish and ant, while in group B, there's the table, spider, bird and cat. And the question is asking you, which of the following things is classified incorrectly? Now, many of my students, when they come across this question, the first thing that would come to their mind is, oh, they are grouped by living and non-living things. Let's take a look whether this is correct or not. In group A, the ball is a non-living thing, while the snake, fish and ant, they are living things. In group B, the table is a non-living thing, while the spider, bird and cat are living things. If the things have been grouped by living and non-living things, you would realise that for group A, the ball is the one that is incorrect, because the ball is non-living. And in group B, you would realise that the spider, bird and cat are living things, so they have been incorrectly grouped as well. But based on the question given here, you would realise that there is actually only one thing that has been classified incorrectly. So this means that these things are not grouped by living and non-living things. If not, there would be four things that are classified incorrectly. So let's erase this and figure out how these things are actually being grouped in state. My hint to you is this. If you find that just by looking at the words, it is very difficult to visualize how these things are grouped, what you can do is to draw out a simple diagram of these things and see what are the similarities and differences between the things. So let's begin. We can just draw a simple ball, a simple snake, a simple fish, and an ant. And on the other side, we can draw a simple table, a spider, a bird, and a cat. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect drawing. As long as you can tell that this is a cat, that is a bird, it is fine. After looking at the drawing of these things, you would be able to better visualize how they are being grouped. Can you look at the drawings now and tell me how do you think they are being grouped? If you are thinking of legs, you are correct. You would realize that the ball, snake and fish has no legs, but the ant has legs. And this is similar to the table, spider, bird and cat that has legs as well. So this means that the things are being grouped by whether they have legs or does not have legs. And I'm sure at this point, you would be able to tell me which thing has been classified incorrectly, right? It would be the end because the end has legs. And the answer for this question would be option one. Thank you for watching this video. If you find that this video was useful, do give us a thumbs up and leave us a note in the comment section below so we know we're on the right track. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and click here for more. See you next time!